As this is the 36th anniversary of that pro-democracy movement, we maintain our focus on the historic event. Shin Zemin highlights the significance of this day by listing what unfolded on May 18, 1980 in Gwangju. It's a day remembered nationwide. For some, it evokes bitter memories. For others, honor. Marking the pro-democracy movement that took place on this day 36 years ago, most people are reflecting and reminiscing on the historic event that altered the political and social landscape of Korea. In 1980, public opposition to martial law led student activists in Gwangju to carry out a string of demonstrations, which triggered a clash with the military forces deployed by the authoritarian Chun Doohan regime. This pro-democracy movement took root, making Gwangju the symbolic center for civic action. And now, May 18th is widely remembered as the day that gave birth to democracy in a struggling nation. It was worth the sacrifice. But to think that my friends and brothers are laid here, it's hard every time I come. Visitors share one voice on this day, designated as a national day of commemoration in 1997, to sustain Korea's democracy and help move it in the right direction to ensure these sacrifices were not in vain. Here at the Bangwaldong Memorial Cemetery, where the martyrs of the Gwangju pro-democracy movement are laid to rest, visitors create a stone tower to honor the spirits of those who have given their lives for the democracy of the nation. The building of the tower was once stalled for more than two decades, but resumed with public support and continues to take shape. And now, not only does it represent community, but also the united struggle and the spirit of democracy that Korea continues to benefit from today. With every stone added, the contributions of those who gave their lives are remembered, and the spirit of the movement is carried on to build a better nation. Shin Se-min, Arirang News, Gwangju.